All right, so Kevin, all right, so first thing you have to do, the engine has to be prepped. What, what's it, what, what does the engine need to be prepped to do? I mean, what do you have to do? You have to pull an injector, you said? Yes, you have to pull an injector uh, so that we can gain access into the cylinder. And which cylinder is it? Uh, on this unit here, it's cylinder number one. Okay. Uh, but it can be any cylinder that the customer chooses. It could okay. Be, uh, all of the cylinders. Okay. Uh, in the unit, or it just could be just one. Okay. And so then you feed the probe in. Feed the probe in through the injector it, opening. And it's like a little fiber optic line. Correct. It's uh, the cable has uh, uh, four, uh, cable itself here has four internal. Uh, servo cables, okay. along with fiber optic cable, along with the digital camera feed, and okay. then uh, once we get inside there, then we're able to look around with our fancy joystick. Okay. The uh, end of the tip articulates, la roughly the last two inches of the tip articulates, and uh, it can uh, articulate back to about 160 degrees plus, so it allows us to go back up in which we came. Okay. So we're able to see the valve, the head, combustion chamber ring to deck clearance area and what exactly does does that help the help you do I mean obviously you get to see the inside of the engine without without breaking it down correct right it, it's it's a non invasive way of accessing an area that would take a day or so mm -hmm. plus uh, costly tear down uh, time down for the unit to be in the shop for this procedure so uh, it really reduces time mm -hmm. uh, for that customer and reduces cost for them to be able to see what's going on inside the engine okay through this entire engine in two hours and look at each cylinder rather than tearing it down, right? Right. You're able to go through the engine in a matter of about two hours. Okay. Look at each cylinder. Mm -hmm. We're able to not only look at the cylinders, but you're able to look at the uh, underside of the head. Mm -hmm. And depending on the engine, most of them you're able to turn over and you're able to look at the valve. So you can look at the valve seat, you can look at the valve stem. Mm -hmm. um, you can see if there's any kind of buildups mm -hmm. there as well. By going through it, you'll you know no, you'll notice yeah, things like uh, if, if there's well, leaking, like if you got a water or head gasket leak, if you got a coolant leak into it, mm -hmm. um, you'll notice if there's oil leaks into it, valve stem, uh, valve guide leakage, mm -hmm. and be able to know exactly where you got to go in and make your correction. No sense in pulling the whole head off if you just got one valve seal that's leaking and maybe able to correct it uh, by by going into the specific uh, right. specific area. So it's a supplement to oil analysis. It's not something you do every year, but you're supplementing. If you see a problem, that's how you check it out. Uh, absolutely. We're okay. able to go in and, and confirm what the oil analysis may be telling us. Okay.